Hey guys, it's Kai Satoshi, and today I'm going to give you six scary movies you might not have seen, so you need to watch them. And I'm going to try to give them to you with as few spoilers as I possibly can, just in case you haven't seen them yet. So let's get going. First movie on our list is a 2002 picture, Dog Soldiers. And if you like werewolf movies like me, you should own the DVD. The movie was made for about $2 million, so don't expect a lot of high, high quality werewolf effects, but... The plot of the movie is good enough, the actors are awesome, and it's a high intensity movie all the way through. So the movie is about a British squad that's in the highlands of Scotland doing some exercises and they run across the other squad that they're supposed to be doing these exercises with and, oh my goodness, they're dead. That's when they start being attacked by these creatures, they make a break for it, oh looky, there's a house, now we're isolated, we're running out of bullets, and how often are you going to watch a movie where you have to do hand to hand combat with a werewolf? I mean, that tells you right there, gotta watch the film. And the movie has one of these funny lines in it when a guy is battling a werewolf in the hand-to-hand -hand combat that you just have to see, and it, it's awesome. You gotta watch this movie. The next movie on the list is the 2014 movie, The Babadook. Now, I'm not gonna give away too much of this, other than to say that uh, the mom's got issues, the son's got issues, and there's a freaking monster that creeps me out. Uh, try to hide under the covers, yeah. Yeah, that's always a bad idea. That doesn't work. I mean, it's right there. And it, as soon as you look, there it is. There it is. I, it's going to be there. Come on, man. Come on. But anyway, there's this book. And uh, this mom decides to read this uh, kid this book. And uh, I mean, come on. Open the thing up. First page. Scary. Stop. Just stop it. And uh, they try to get rid of this book and it doesn't work out for them. So uh, watch this movie if you want to get creeped out. This is one, another one of those movies that has a low budget. $2 million. The uh, Not too many actors. But uh, the movie's creepy, and uh, I enjoyed watching the film. So take a look at it. Number four on our list is the 2013 movie Oculus, which is about a scary mirror. Now, I don't know how scary you think mirrors are. Well, I mean, they could be, depending on how you look when you wake up in the morning. Um, but yeah, this movie's pretty darn creepy, and it's a smart movie. It, it's pretty cool. Don't expect happy endings out of this. That's, uh, that's the spoiler I'm going to give you. Uh, this movie ha kind of pops back and forth between the past and the present, and it mixes it in a way I really haven't seen it before in a movie where the characters are almost passing each other in the hallway from the past to the present, but they, they do such a good job on this movie. It's definitely worth a look, and uh, expect to be creeped out, and expect to be scared from a mirror and uh, a reflection that's not yours in the morning. Yeah, take a look at this one. I hate Halloween. Yeah, well, I don't. So you can just shut up. And that brings us to 2007's Trick or Treat. Uh, without giving away too many details, there's five stories in this film that are intertwined by the end of the movie. So it's kind of cool the way that they do that. You might consider this the horror genre's version of Pulp Fiction. And uh, look at the kid on the front of that 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 poster. That that's that's just creepy. And then and then this all takes place in Ohio. So that's just oh that, oh scary. Come on, people. Ohio. Anyway, take a look at this movie. I won't say it's the most scary thing you will ever see, but uh, there's some creepy points in it, and uh, it's got some funny parts in it too, uh, and it's fun to watch around Halloween. Just a perfect movie for Halloween, uh, along with something that's not on my list, the movie Halloween by John Carpenter. So take a look at this. It's fun, and you'll have a good time watching it. boy murdered Silas, buried his body in the fields, and dragged Molly from the house, hanging her in the farm's apple orchard. Well, this is obviously a love story. And that brings us to number two, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon from 2006. Now this is a low budget movie. This is the lowest budget movie that's on the list. But I hope you'll still still give it a chance. It's a very interesting movie the way that they put it together. And it the whole movie works inside the universe that Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, they're all real. And this is where it takes place in this inside of this universe where these psychopathic killers live. And the movie starts off as a documentary where they're interviewing a guy who, just a normal guy, but he wants to be one of these killers he wants to be a legend he wants to be freddy he wants to be michael and they're talking to him and he's planning his first series of murders and it's it's very funny because the movie it, it's 
it's funny in that sense where they they don't really take it too seriously or anything but near the end of the movie the 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 documentary stops and a horror film begins and that's really what's interesting about the way that this film was made and and i so wish that they would have a part two to this uh just to see where leslie vernon goes uh from from here but don't throw this movie off to the side just because of the budget that it has. Give it a chance. Watch it a couple times. And it, and it really is an interesting film. So uh, I enjoy it. It's, it's probably one of my more favorite low-budget horror films that I, I've seen in you know a long, long time. So definitely give it a look. And that brings us to the number one movie on the list, John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, this is my favorite all-time movie. Uh, it's about a group of guys in Antarctica, and essentially they find something in the ice and it ends up being an alien that crash landed a long long time ago on earth the thing about this alien is is that it has the ability to take over any organism that it uh, encounters so one of these guys two of these guys three is an alien and but no one knows who so you get this isolation feeling because of where they're at they can't talk to anybody because of a storm that's coming in and they have to figure out who is who because this thing is picking them all off one by one it's really great storytelling you know um, they talk about John Carpenter's Halloween being a masterpiece to me this is really John Carpenter's masterpiece uh, I love this film and you need to watch it so that's it for my little movie list if uh, you think that I should have put something else on here please feel free to comment and I may even make another list if you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching guys.